All right, so the very first step is, do you have the, the materials that you need to be able to do this? And what we're gonna do is a 3D pumpkin singing effect, right? So the first thing obviously you need is a pumpkin, right? That's pretty simple and easy. You can use a foam pumpkin such as this. Um, you can use a real pumpkin too. You can grow your own pumpkins and project on them as well. You get a projector, uh, and it, like, there's a lot of different projectors out there that will work. I have a, a ViewSonic. It's a portable short throw projector. They sell these on Amazon. Uh, I really like this one because it's small, it's simple. You can hide it very well when you're setting up your setup and. Um, and that's the important thing is you try to get it so that people are like, hey, how is it doing that? So you obviously want to conceal this as best as possible. So it being small, it makes it a lot easier to kind of hide that. What I like about these ones is it has a lot of options to get the digital file that you're going to get to project on the pumpkin. Um, this particular one has a lot of options. You have a micro SD, you got a USB-C, you got a regular USB and an HDMI. Uh, why I do it is I do it with a, with a flash drive. So this is what I use. You can use a phone or a computer, like I said. You just have to get it to the projector to project onto that. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I prefer the, the flash drive with the ability where they have a media player built into the projector because it's really easy to do because you just plug this in, you have a select file, and then you can put it on a loop and then it'll just play it over and over again. So, But that's it, really, you just need those three items, a projector, a pumpkin, and then a, a media source with the media file, of course. All right, step two. The me media file, there's a couple ways that you can do that. Uh, the first option is buy it. You know, there's a lot of websites online that you can easily get this stuff from. AtmosFX.com is a great website that has a lot of good content. You got the Jamboree pumpkin singing package and you got um, other special effects that you can check out too that you can do in Windows and TVs and other other options as well, which is really cool. Second option is make your own, right? And obviously there's more steps with that and you would need like a smartphone and a computer and a video editing tool and a few things like that. I'll have a different video if you're interested in making your own content, which is also, you know, it's funny because then you can personalize it to how you want to do it. So, but yeah, I'll have a separate video for that and I'll, I'll give you guys a link um, in the description so you can check that out. Let's go to step three now, setting this up, right? So now that you've got your video file, you played around with it, now it's kind of finding that right spot. There's a lot of different ways that you can stage it. You can get hay barrels, you know, you can get little hay barrels like at Walmart or um, craft stores and stuff like that, and then you can stage them. The Atmos FX gives you, like if you chose to go their route, uh, they do a single pumpkin animation or you can do a trio pump, um, pumpkin animation, right? So you can just kind of stage them. You can see I have two pumpkins here and you can even like, let's say that put a third one right there and then you just, um, getting them all focused in. So once you have the digital file um, and you have it on the projector, you're just gonna kind of play around uh, with the distance of the projector and then the placement of the pumpkins to line everything up. Uh, once you do that, then you just go ahead and put the loop on and then it just plays it over and over again. One of the fun things about this is how how is this happening, you know, because a lot of people all of a sudden will be looking at the pumpkins, it looks like it's just hand carved pumpkin, right? And it's, it has a candle in it or whatever is lit up, right? And then all of a sudden it starts singing or talking or telling a joke. And they're like, whoa, how, wh how's it doing that? Obviously they're trying to check it out, trying to figure out what's happening, you know? Um, so that's where it's important to conceal the projector. You don't want to make it obvious that you're projecting onto the pumpkins. So some creative things that people don't, I see that they make little boxes and they kind of hide it in the box and then project out onto the pumpkin and kind of put it with the overall ambiance of the whole little stage that you created. Uh, another one I thought was really cool is uh, some people have actually made little graveyards and then they made a tomb and then basically created the tombstone and put the projector in it 
and then it definitely really hit it very well. You wouldn't have any idea that there was a projector behind all the tombstones and stuff like that. The third thing is basically staging, and you, you can have a lot of fun with that, and then, you know, just get that, like, whoa, people are like, how is that happening? So, but yeah, that's how you, how you do this, guys. So, Check out my other videos that I've got. I have a lot of other fun things that I like to do for Halloween. And, um, you know, for this year's so, uh, J Mart Haunt 2023, look forward to my walkthrough that I'll be doing for this year's Halloween Haunt. All right, guys, have a good one.